I'm going to show you a good magic trick. It's a card trick and people enjoy card tricks. Now what you're going to do is you're going to have a card selected. In this case we'll just use the ace of spades. But whenever you have, do the trick for real, you're not going to know what the selected card is. All right? But we know in this case it's Ace of Spades. You cut the deck in half. You have the selected card returned to the top half of the deck. And you cover it with the other half of the deck. And now you're going to ribbon spread the deck. And all that is is spreading the deck face up like this. It's not hard to do. Okay. And you ask the person who selected the card if they can see their selected card. And they can because all the cards are face up. All right? In this case, the selected card's right there. It's the Ace of Spades. All right? Now, <clears throat> but you don't know this at this point, supposedly. And now you act like you're going to read their mind. That's what makes this trick great. People love that kind of mind reading, psychic entertainment kind of trick. So you go this way and you go a few cards and you act like you're not getting a good thought signal from them. And what you want them to do is just think, stop, whenever you cross their card. Like if that was their card, you'd want them to think, stop, okay? And you're not getting a good signal, so you try it from this end. And you go across, and then you go, Ooh, like you're getting something, see? You've got to play it up for the entertainment value. And finally, you shove out a few cards, <clears throat> and you touch these like this, like you're trying to get a signal, and then you go, finally, that's your card. And they are amazed. They have no idea how you got their card. Especially some people who don't cooperate. They're not thinking stop. And they don't know how you figured out their card. I'm going to show you how to do this trick. Okay? Whenever you do the trick, and the deck can be shuffled. It can be in any condition. It could be they could just hand you the cards. It could be your deck. You could shuffle it. They could shuffle it. It doesn't matter. You're going to glance at the bottom card. In this case, the bottom card is the six of hearts. Okay? So you know what the bottom card is. That's it. You're ready to perform. That's all you need to know is a bottom card. You have a card freely selected. We'll use the ace of spades again, but imagine it's a free selection. Now watch this. I know what the bottom card is. I cut the deck in half, okay? I put the selected card on top of this half of the deck and I'm merely going to cover it with the card I know. This is called a key card, okay? I know this card, the six of hearts. It's the only card I know. Now when I ribbon spread, I'm ribbon spreading left to right. The card immediately to the left or to the right of my key card, this is the key card, is their card. Okay? You with me on that? Because I put this card on top of this card. So now I know what their card is. Now I just want to point out for those of you that are right-handed, if your ribbon spread like this, okay, it's going to be to the other side of your card. Okay? Because all you look for is your key card and next to it is their card. Then the rest is just pattern presentation. You tell them to think stop as you run your finger over the cards. You struggle a little bit like you're having trouble getting a signal. And then you kind of hone in on their card. And you slide a few cards forward. And again, you're doing your show business. You know, you're struggling to get the right um, psychic thought. You know all along this is their card. You drop these and you toss it forward. And you say, that's your card. And they'll be amazed. And you want to play it up. Because the more you play it up, the more amazed they'll be. But that's all there is to the trick. The entire trick is just dropping the key card on top of the selected card. And you can do this trick yourself.